But in a season of wonderful moments, there was a moment that saddened the hearts of the footballing public worldwide, the death of Sir Matt Busby, the man who'd built the modern-day club from the ashes of war. In many ways, Busby was Manchester United, a visionary man, a man who believed in the ability of youth, the man who gave us the Busby babes. Busby, who survived the tragedy of Munich to build a new side that contained some of the greatest footballers ever to grace Old Trafford. A side that later went on to become the first English club to win the European Cup in 1968. The legend of Sir Matt Busby will live on at Old Trafford forever. People say, will life go on? The life's got to go on. It doesn't really need to always go on. I mean, tomorrow I think it should stop for a day because he was a wonderful man. And but what, the game will go on. Unfortunately, it will be going. I'd rather it didn't. To go on. Today is reflective following the death this week of Sir Matt Busby, one of the great figures in the British game. Focal point for all the memories and the tributes will be Old Trafford, where one seat will remain poignantly empty this afternoon. At Old Trafford right now is Gerald Simstad. In a sport that likes to believe that you're only as good as your last game, Sir Matt Busby was the exception. Honoured for the achievements of a lifetime, remembered for the manner with which they were accomplished. With less than two hours to go to kick off, Old Trafford is busy about its familiar routine. The game goes on, as it always has, even when there were no players' names to print in the programme. But today, memories are everywhere. Outside, as the fans arrive, the tributes mount. When I drove past at one o'clock this morning, there were even then people in small groups paying their own personal and private respects. Since dawn, the contributions have been multiplied. Simple bunches of flowers, scarves, shirts, pages torn from scrapbooks, a football, a cushion, spontaneous gestures of gratitude and affection from generations of followers to whom Sir Matt and Manchester United were one and the same, interchangeable, indivisible. The tributes from those who were closest to him here at the club, from those who knew him through the wider family of football and from outside the game, have all been remarkably similar. They speak less of cups and championships than of the man himself, of warmth, integrity, courage, compassion. The father figure, who had time for everyone, was admired by everyone and will be missed by us all. Let's join the scenes there with Gerald Simpson. Over the years, Old Trafford has acclaimed its heroes and mourned its lost loved ones. Today, the emotions are hard to disentangle. Sir Matt Busby's achievements may, in the fullness of time, be equaled as a man who will remain unique and without fear. His death this week is a reminder of all that he gave to this club, to this city, and to the game. latest generation of the club that he made, the club to which he gave so much, players of Everton will have a difficult task to face them in a few moments.
will you remember a man whose face was rarely without a smile. And this today, Manchester United don't want to be too solemn on occasion. Because they know how much they owe to Sir Matt Busby. They know how much they'll miss him. But this is a club, above all, that knows that life goes on. Parker to Kenchelskis. Oh, he's got free. Cantona, good saves, level south up. Great reflexes, and Cantona's denied after a super near post header. Kicks his corner. Cantona, off the line, Ebrel it was. Great header, beat Southall, but not the man who was there to do just this very job. Hugging the far post. Parker. Keane, got away from Ablett, Hughes calling for it, Giggs arriving, 1-0, 26 minutes and the Giggs and in celebration, but heralds the first goal of the game, long time in coming really, United have had chance after chance, but fittingly it's the youngest man on the field that gets it, and he'd be particularly pleased because it was with his head. And it was certainly a good header too, taking it beyond Neville Southall. Good look up before he played it, Cantona, oh brilliant, oh dear, it's the outside of the post, seem to have done everything right. Brilliant skills, the crowd on their feet, that's the kind of thing that Eric Cantona is famed for in the game. Control, turn, shot, all in one movement, denied by the post. Int. Kinchelskis, Ablett coming away to try and block him, deflection off the bar. They're not going to get a second there either. Kinchelskis denied this time. Everton trying to build, but uh, once again a red wall blocking their path forward. It was Bruce that intercepted. Here's Kinchelskis. Bruce has continued the run. Cantona to Hughes. Here's Cantona. Good save from Southall, and again Cantona denied. But some marvellous approach play from United. The crowd still revelling in a terrific performance by United. And it's going to end here now with Cantona, surely this time, no! Well, it's not been his day, but it's certainly been a fitting tribute to Sir Matt Busby. Well, he'd have been pleased at the entertainment, I'm sure of that. He'd have been pleased at the effort we put in, the commitment was terrific. But he'd have been a rueful smile and saying to himself, Ali, I've seen him before. The chances we missed in the game were incredible.